Hello everyone. Today in this video lesson we are going to talk about electric flux and Gauss law. We know electric flux is a way of identifying number of the magnetic lines passing through a given area. So, if you are having any a charge say for example in any closed surface say this is the closed surface I want to calculate what is the electric flux passing through this. So, if I have had a unit positive charge or a charge, the electric field due to this charge will be always in a radially outward direction. Electric field intensity due to a positive charge is always in a radially outward direction. So, if I have taken a small surface area, the direction of this surface area is also in the radially outward direction at a given point. Then electric flux is defined as the dot product of electric field intensity and the surface area. If suppose the electric field is in that direction like this, say a charge is here, due to this the electric field is like this and you have imagined a surface in that you have considered a small surface element, its surface area is radially outward. Now, this electric field and surface area are having an angle theta, then entire E is not acting along ds, I can resolve that E into components, this is E cos theta that is acting along the direction of displacement that is surface area, then I can write flux d phi as not the entire E, the component of E and D S. That is why we can write like E D S cos theta. That is why flux can be defined like dot product of two vectors, surface area and electric field intensity. But being a dot product, this is not going to be a scalar, flux is going not going to be a vector, flux is going to be a scalar which is having only magnitude and which can be explained completely with the help of a magnitude itself. Now, to find out this is only a part of a flux, if you want the entire flux, you can integrate the equation integral of E dot D s, then I can write a equation flux is equal to integral of E and the entire surface area of the closed part that what we are taking into consideration has to be measured. Now, to measure this flux and to measure the intensity at a given place, we are having a law called Gauss law. According to Gauss law, say we are having a charge Q, at a point P I want to calculate say electric intensity or a flux whatever it is. The first thing that we need to do is, we shall imagine a Gaussian surface in such a way that at least the point that we are considering is covered within the Gaussian surface. If the charge is outside the closed surface or if the point is outside the surface, we cannot apply Gauss law. So, wherever you want to calculate electric field intensity or any flux, the point shall be within the Gaussian surface. If you have taken that into consideration. According to Gauss law, the electric flux in any closed surface at a given point is the summation of the charges that are there divided by epsilon naught, where epsilon naught is the permittivity of the free space and we are talking about this case and we are in a vacuum or else a free space. Here we are having only one charge, therefore I can simply write summation of the charge is Q itself. So, we can say the flux due to the positive charge is outward, the flux due to the negative charge is inward. By taking the proper charges, we can conclude whether the flux is inward or else outward. If positive charges are dominating, the effective flux will be outward. As I have written, flux is nothing but line integral of E dot D s and according to Gauss law, I can write E dot D s as something like Q by epsilon naught itself. 
Now we would like to apply this Gauss law and try to see whether we can come to that Coulomb's inverse square law. Let us see. We would like to derive Coulomb's law from the Gauss law. Therefore, let us imagine a charge, a positive charge. I want to calculate electric field intensity at a point P, who is at a distance R from the charge. So, as I want to apply the Gauss law, I shall first of all imagine a Gaussian surface in such a way that the point is at least covering the Gaussian surface. Otherwise, we cannot apply the Gauss law itself. Now, I want to calculate electric field intensity due to this charge. Electric field intensity is defined as the force experienced by a positive charge when it is placed in the field of this. So, even if I keep a positive charge anywhere within the field, let that small part is having a surface area S, yes, it will experience the force in an outward direction because this is a positive charge and this is also a positive charge. We know the, elect, uh, the surface area of the small element is also in the outward direction as these two are in the down outward direction, I can write an equation for the flux as d phi, we know the equation that d phi, d phi is equal to e dot d s, but this e d s both are in the same direction. So, d s cos 0, that is nothing but equal to cos 0 is 1. Therefore, d phi equal to e dot d s or I can write phi is nothing but equal to integral of e and d s and as per the Gauss law, the electric flux is nothing but equal to the total charge by epsilon naught. So, e then integral of surface area of this closed surface that we are talking that spherical surface is q by epsilon naught. So, we know the surface area of a sphere who is having a radius r is nothing but equal to 4 pi r square equal to q by epsilon naught. So, I can write an equation for electric field intensity as 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r square. This is nothing but the force experienced by a unit positive charge when it is placed in the electric field of this charge q and this is nothing but the Coulomb's inverse square law. Only difference is I am not getting q 1 and q 2, I am getting q and 1 only simply because in our case q 1 is q, q 2 is intensity now. So, we have assumed a unit positive charge. Therefore, the force if I have to write an equation for force according to Coulomb's inverse square law 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q into 1 by r square that is what we define it like a intensity. Therefore, it is very clear that we have just derived Coulomb's inverse square law from the Gauss law. So, Gauss law helps us in finding out electric intensity and electric potential at any given point using in a very simple mathematical way that Gauss law tells you that the electric flux in any closed surface is 1 by epsilon naught times of algebra, algebraic sum of the charges that are there in that closed surface. Thank you. We will come back and meet again with a different sets of radio. Thank you.